Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be making the giant paper poppies. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel below and like this video. I've made the giant paper poppies before, but I decided to refilm this process just in case and show you some different updates to my giant paper poppy. You can find all the materials and the template linked below the video. First, start with balling up foil for the center of the poppy. It was about the height of my hand. Then take some masking tape and add to the center and add a coupler that fits your pipe size. I'll be using my giant flower metal stand and stem kit that I'll be linking below the video. This stand kit comes with a metal base and flexible stem but sturdy so you can shape it any way you can. But I will also have a DIY version of the stand on this tutorial if you would rather DIY it so you could see both the process in this video. Tape down the coupler as best as you can. Then take a couple sheets of tissue paper and wrap that around and tape that also onto the coupler and using masking tape to tape the whole tissue paper down. I was using the thin tape but realized I also have the thicker one so I will be using the thicker masking tape. Next, take more foil and make four rectangles and roll up like sticks about the height of your hand. Once you have four of them, using masking tape again and tape it down and cover the foil. The foil just helps keep the shape, but I think you could also use tissue paper or butcher paper instead of the foil. Once you have four covered, take two and crisscross like the letter X and connect them by taping down the center where it crosses. Do the same to the other set of two and eventually add them together and crisscross them so it looks like an eight-sided star. Next, take green tissue paper and add matte Mod Podge and cover the taped area and again on the top of the tissue paper. You will need to cover the whole green ball if you don't have the perfect green color for the center, you could just use white tissue paper and use acrylic paint to paint over the Mod Podge once it dries. It should take about an hour or so for it to fully dry and set. Next, take the star shape and cover it all up with yellow tissue paper and Mod Podge the whole shape. I like to use strips of yellow and cover each side at a time. Leave both the yellow and green pieces to the side for it to dry. Next, get yellow paper and cut it in half so it'll be 8.5 by 5.5 inches and cut fringes leaving about an inch or so on the bottom. The thinner the fringes, the better it looks. I also have a template for the center if you want the machine to cut it out. It has a nice detail that only a machine could cut but I feel these hand cut fringes work too. I also wanted to hand cut my petals because I am using 12 by 24 inch cardstock paper that I painted with gouache paint. I have another video I'll link below that shows you how I paint these petals. It's really easy. It just takes time for it to dry both front and back with the paint. The good thing is the poppy only needs six petals, so you'll have to paint six sheets. If you want to try using bigger sheets of paper that only has a limited amount of color choices. I have a print and cut template that could help you guide what type of shape you want it to look like on these bigger sheets, or you could readjust the size accordingly. If you want to do it on the machine, the biggest you can probably go is 12 by 12 inches. Next, make folds going towards the center of the bottom so it's not really like parallel lines. They are going towards the center. I fold it one side and then I go in between some of the folds and fold it the other direction so when you see the folds the crease will go away from you and some towards you and concentrate mostly on the top side of the petal. Next take an extra strip of paper from when you cut your shape and I shaped it to look like a leaf shape with a pointy tip on the top and bottom and I'll be getting floral wire and adding glue on the leaf shape and adding floral wire about halfway into the petal. This will help hold up your shape especially when they are bigger with this bigger paper it's a little heavier 
you need a total of six petals with the floral wire and add that to the bottom and shape with the folds. Next, take the yellow star and glue it to the green center and add your yellow fringes around the rim. I did about four of these fringes and it went around the circle twice. You could add more or less depending on how full you want it to look. Then go in sets of three so the first three petals will go around the circle like a triangle shape. Take the leftover wire on the bottom and wrap it around your coupler and I used more masking tape to make sure the wire doesn't poke me later. Then glue the last three petals in between the layers and do the same to the leftover wire and tape it down. Next, take green leaves and cover the best you can if it looks a little messy on the bottom. The original template gives you a whole piece with the leaves connected to the piece, but I just cut them separately to cover up more since the bottom of this area wasn't fully painted, which was my mistake. Next is optional for the base of the stand. I take a strip of green paper and add these long leaves and glue them around the strip of paper like a bundle of grass. Next is covering up the pipe. I added floral wire with masking tape in the center and used green crepe paper and wrapped that pipe with the green crepe paper. The next part is just showing you my giant flower stand and stem kit. I was able to find a local metal shop that custom made these for me and teamed up with them so that I could sell these on my website for people that want to make these and don't want to DIY the stand. You can find them linked below the video and comes with this metal base that is nice because it is flat to the crown and collapsible. Comes with the screw so you can screw the rod and I also provide this green paper to cover the metal. I tried painting it before but it just chips off the metal so this paper works fine. And you could add the grass bundle if you want and add your pipe. The pipe that I provide will be flexible and it's flexible but it also holds the shape once you shape it. But I will also show you how to DIY this. This part will be for the base of the giant paper flower so it could stand on its own and the stem. I like to use the Rapid Set Cement All and I haven't really experimented with other types of concrete. This one has a light gray finish and smooths on its own. Comes in a smaller box if you want to only make a couple or a bigger bag if you want to make a lot of stands. I'll be using plastic plant saucers that you can find in the plant section as our mold and I'm using an 8 inch size but there are bigger sizes if you want to add multiple flowers in one base. I use duct tape to guide my 3 4 coupler of my 3 4 inch PVC pipe. That will be my stem so that it will come apart to transport in a car. If you are using a different size PVC pipe, get the matching coupler. Add duct tape on only one end of the coupler. These will be found at Home Depot, Lowe's, or on Amazon and I'll try my best to link all of this below the video. Make sure you are being safe and wear gloves and a mask so you don't breathe breathe in the fine dust and safety goggles when working with this. I used about six scoops of these disposable plastic cups, but I like to work in small increments. If you do a lot at a time, it is harder to mix. You will also have to be quick so it doesn't set while you mix. Then add a little bit of water as you go and mix until you get a pancake consistency. Add more concrete if you need to thicken it. Fill up until you cover just the bottom and add your coupler. I have my coupler connected with a small PVC pipe just so I could hold it on the top. Then fill up a little more until right below the coupler ends. It should take a couple hours to fully set so while we wait for that we will now get the stems ready with PVC pipe. I got a pan, ladle, and funnel from a thrift store that I designated for this and not use for cooking. Then you can find playground sand outside or actually buy a bag of sand. I like to have enough to fill up the pan so I could work on multiple at a time but if you are only making one you could just use a little more than your PVC pipe could hold. Heat it up until you feel the sand is too hot to touch. Then tape one end of the PVC pipe with duct tape and the other side use a funnel and ladle to scoop your sand into the pipe. Then fill to the top and close it up with duct tape. And on the ground you could shape your desired shape. This will look a little different from each flower so shape accordingly. You could use heat gun or even a blow dryer but I felt the heated sand gave me the most even heat without kinking the pipe. Then take the sand back out. Next, you could add your flower head on top and try making them in different colors. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.